Um, you know, we've just come out of a pandemic and I think uh, we're all in the same situation where there is need for a fast acceleration of economic and socioeconomic recovery of Africa's people. Having seen the success of Barcelona, uh, Mobile World Congress in bringing all our stakeholders together, it's imperative that we bring African stakeholders together to look at the challenges that we face and how we can go about together in partnership collaborating towards solving these challenges. MWC Africa promises to be a platform where all our stakeholders in the government and in the private sector will come together and form a community that looks at these social challenges and how we can solve them through the power of mobile. Thank you. Right. Uh, there are themes around uh, the MWC Africa. Um, talk to us about them and why you chose them. OK. We, we have a couple of themes this year. Uh, one in particular is the one people, one purpose. And, you know, in this regard, you know, Africa really is um, a continent that is a youthful continent across the, the globe. We are the youngest continent. We have a lot of innovators. Our young people are looking for opportunities on how they can use technology and innovation to solve the challenges that face them. It's not the, the, the past that we had where we have uh, enough jobs, sufficient jobs to serve our youth. And so when we look at one people, one purpose, we're primarily looking at purpose before profit. How can we stimulate growth in the region, piggybacking off our biggest asset, which is our young people, and the, the, the knowledge and the financial institutions that, that exist in terms of um, FinTech and uh, mobile money, which is a renowned success globally. We are also looking at um, a fintech summit so fintech is one of the aspects where we're looking at how we can look forward in terms of the next evolution or the revolution of fintech um, so far we've seen payments um, and uh, innovations in terms of credit and savings but we're looking ahead to look at what is africa seeing as the future of fintech we're also going to be looking at accelerate africa this is a platform where we begin to showcase everything that mobile can do for development. We have a theater that's looking at mobile for development across the three days. And during these three days, we'll be looking at how uh, mobile is impacting every single vertical in the globe and how we can use the technology to accelerate development in these areas and particularly for Africa. We're also looking at leadership for connectivity. Uh, in, this, in this regard, how do leaders um, you know, use their influence towards guiding how we can sustainably uh, and look at the development of Africa in terms of technology for development, in terms of, uh, you know, how we can work towards cross-border collaboration, particularly in this era where, where the African Union is looking at having a single digital market by 2063. And so there are a lot of conversations that leaders can come together to look at how we can work together and influence one another for the future. Interesting. Now, I'm also aware that uh, there will be the GSMA Africa Policy Leaders Forum. Uh, talk to us about it. What is its importance in, in, in a nutshell? The GSMA's Policy Leaders Forum um, is um, a space where we're bringing together um, regulatory authorities, uh, policy makers looking at how they can use technology in ICTs and in the digital economy and unlocking challenges that uh, require enablement of uh, policies or, 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 or you know, a, a regulatory environment that will sustain um, the growth. A lot of our governments do have national broadband policies and targets associated with them on how they see their people beginning to use uh, the internet, particularly mobile internet, uh, given that Africa is a mobile first and a mobile only continent predominantly. Um, so this space looks at you know, different conversations around policy as an enabler, as well as how uh, policy can drive development and accelerate the pace at which Africa as uh, people can become online. So we invite all our policymakers and stakeholders um, in the region to come and, uh, and speak with us and discuss opportunities that they see in their region and how we can harmonize the different policies and frameworks towards achieving this goal. Right. Um, I, I would like you to just uh, share with us or clarify the role of GSMA Mobile for Development 
at the MWC Africa? Will they be present and what role will they be playing? So as you may know, particularly in the, in the last month, um, you know, the mobile industry is at the forefront of delivering on the sustainable development goals led by the United Nations. And in this, it's in this regard that the GSMA uh, works uh, with a focus on mobile for development, uh, hand in hand with our donors and, and, and startups who we work with through our innovation fund. We're looking at scaling up um, solutions that come that startups uh, in partnerships with mobile operators and investors um, bring to the forefront that allow uh, the uh, developmental countries such as uh, the region Africa and the Asia Pacific to be able to unlock um, solutions that we can be able to scale up. Uh, so we're looking to see how we can use mobile for development, particularly in the NWC Africa, to be able to showcase all the different solutions that we've come across through the last few years and how we can bring together the interests of the government and the private sector towards scaling these solutions. Right, finally, um, the role of mobile industry. I mean, we have had conversations around its importance, but uh, talk to us from where you sit, in which ways do you see it helping development and growth of countries across Africa? Yes, uh, essentially, mobile and technology are, are enablers for any solution in this day and age. Uh, today, we're now in the age of automation. We see a lot of uh, impact, uh, particularly even in our region, on how uh, mobile has alleviated um, a lot of the poverty that is in the region, uh, simply because there is a lot of digital inclusion coming into play. Financial inclusion is mainstream in the region, uh, thanks to mobile money and the success that we've seen across the region. This is something that needs to be replicated across the globe so that we do not leave anyone behind. And therefore, I believe that um, as technology continues to evolve and as the mobile industry continues to invest in being able to reach and cover as many citizens in Africa as possible, we also have a role to play in that we are able to enable Africans in this region to be able to take advantage of the internet through their mobile devices and, their, and therefore you know, begin to uh, become part of the digital trade and the digital economy and contribute uh, through collaboration and cooperation across the globe. I think there's an opportunity for Africa, particularly in terms of intra-trade, and this is where the role of the mobile industry plays a big part. How can we achieve the successes that we've seen in Europe, where about 69% of intra-trade exists as um, you know, in, as, uh, whereas in Africa, we only have 18% of intra-trade. Uh, so mobile, the mobile industry has a role to play in how we can achieve uh, cross-border digital trade, how we can achieve financial and digital inclusion for all our citizens.